Okay, I seem to be the repository for people's failed hobbies or abandoned hobbies because I picked this up off of somebody on Craigslist and they were getting rid of it for an incredibly cheap price. RepRap Pro Mendel Triple Extruder and a couple of spools of filament. And I am going to finish the build, I guess. I might have to stop doing this, picking up other people's hobbies. Anyways, that's what's going on next. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to uh, do some reprinting of part. I don't know if you can see in there, but there is definitely some cracking right in there. And then there's a few parts that are broken. So, yeah, there's going to be some work that needs to be done on this before I can start printing with it. That's for sure. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I think it just sat for years and years and years and years and years because it was like bought in 2014, right? The uh, the plastic has just aged. But, I mean, that's fine. You can just reprint new parts for this thing. Anyways, so, yeah, you, like, you can see right there on that that mount is, has fractured. And the other mounts have fractured too. And this one down on the bottom here has fractured. So, yeah, I've got some work ahead of me, but nothing that I'm uh, unprepared for, I'd have to say. So, yeah, I think I might just pull it apart as much as possible and rebuild it from scratch and build up um, and print pieces as I need to. It's the plan. Um, all right, let's get to it. So I haven't taken much video of the assembly of this thing, but <clears throat> I did make some progress tonight in that I managed to route one wire properly, I think, and I think that's going to work. I mean, I'll put a, uh, a piece of plastic um, wire bundle wrapping around here. And this piece of flex will support this um, small wire in its travel. And then it can now reach up to the uh, bed temperature probe. And then I can get to the bed very nicely with reasonable serviceability. So yeah, slow progress. So it's got a capacity for four extruders, two on this side and two on this side. So I've made a little more progress on getting this thing wired up. I need to neaten up the cable bundles quite a bit, but um, I think I've got the cable bundles in about the right length and they just need to be um, bundled or um, like I said neatened up and then commissioning this this guy uh, I've got the power supply hooked up I think I want to put a switch in here 
um, just to be able to turn the power supply on and off, but um, that will come later. And uh, it will be interesting to see because this is the first time I've used a dual um, axis um, Z, dual Z axis style printer. But uh, yeah, so it's starting to come together. Um, I had to reprint a number of parts, as you can see, here and here and here. I am just used one of the other extruders, um, sorry, yeah, uh, extruders, rather than reprinting all of the parts for the extruder. Um, there is, like I said, it's a triple, so there's um, parts there. The hot end is um, interesting. We'll see how it works. Um, took a little bit of fiddling around to uh, to get that all together, but um, not saying that I'm thinking I'm exactly happy with the way this just slides in and out, but there's no stresses on it, so I don't suppose it's all that bad. It just heats up that little block of aluminum. We'll see how it works. Um, PLA to begin with, of course, and uh, yeah, we'll start commissioning the printer probably this weekend. We have an update video for it later. In any event, um, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.